The movie starts with a glimpse of modern-day Tokyo, where Father Yuichi spends his time by his comatose son's side after an incident where someone pushed the boy off a roof. Yuichi's father the elder comes to visit as well, but he's harsh instead of supportive as wonders where he was when his son needed him. Sometime later, Yuichi retrieves his gun, deciding it's time to get revenge. Meanwhile, a very unlucky American mercenary walks the city streets while talking on the phone to his handler Maria, who gives him the codename, Ladybug, as a pun for his bad luck. The mission is simple, he must board the bullet train and steal a mysterious briefcase that has a sticker on the handle. This assignment was supposed to go to another mercenary called Carver, but he couldn't make it because he was sick. Once he reaches the station, Ladybug accidentally bumps into Yuichi, which causes him to drop his locker key and ticket without notice. Fortunately, Ladybug knows how to pick locks and manages to open the locker anyway, earning him access to the sleeping powder he had requested but refusing to take the gun. Ladybug has to convince the conductor to let him in with just the receipt, but Yuichi boards with no issues and follows the instructions on a note sent to him by the person that tried to kill his son. However, he finds on the seat a young, adorable girl, and Yuichi thinks he did something wrong until the girl touches him. This is Prince, a young woman that uses the innocent girl act to commit crimes. Following Maria's instructions through an earpiece, Ladybug embarks on a mission to find the briefcase. Unaware that the briefcase belongs to a pair of assassin brothers known as Tangerine and Lemon, Ladybug locates it in the luggage rack at the end of the carriage. The sticker on the briefcase catches Lemon's attention, as he has an obsession with Thomas the tank engine metaphors and carries a sheet of Thomas stickers with him. However, the brothers' presence on the train is not solely to protect the briefcase. They have also kidnapped the son of White Death, a notorious mafia boss's son, and aim to return him along with the briefcase filled with ransom money owed to White Death by his enemies. Lemon realizes that the briefcase is missing from the rack, but he remains calm, prioritizing the safe delivery of the sun. Tangerine shares the full story of the White Death with Lemon, explaining its significance. She recounts the downfall of Manegishi, a former underworld leader, due to his trust in a former Russian Mafia member who became the White Death. The White Death formed his gang and wiped out Manegishi and his men in one night. Since then, he has become a soulless and psychotic killer, leading a major criminal organization. Tangerine and Lemon were hired for their skills, as the White Death avoids personal involvement due to his tragedy. However, they are shocked to discover the lifeless body of the sun, with bleeding eyes. Yuichi awakens to find Prince has tampered with his gun, and she holds his son's life at stake. Prince reveals her knowledge of Yuichi's affiliation with White Death and how he recently delivered a briefcase to one of White Death's associates. Seeing an opportunity, she wants Yuichi to assassinate White Death for her. Ladybug seeks refuge in another train carriage but encounters the Wolf, a vengeful mercenary who blames someone on the train for the deaths of his wife and guests. A fierce battle ensues, leading them to the train's bar. In a desperate move, Wolf stabs Ladybug, only for his knife to rebound off the shielded briefcase, fatally injuring him instead. The train nears another stop, prompting the brothers to disguise Sun's appearance and prepare to retrieve the briefcase. Lemon stands guard at a door, inspecting each departing passenger. Ladybug recognizes Lemon as the man who previously attempted to kill him. Unable to use that exit, Ladybug rushes through the train carriages, encountering the train's mascot who tries to seize the briefcase. After a brief scuffle, Ladybug races to the next exit, but the doors close, and the train departs. Returning to the bar, Ladybug conceals the briefcase, takes Wolf's phone, and contacts Maria. Confirming the truth, Maria reveals that the wedding assassination targeted Wolf's boss, inadvertently causing multiple deaths. Ladybug, who had infiltrated the wedding as a waiter, accidentally spilled Wolf's glass but was not responsible for the deaths. Pondering the next steps, Ladybug notices Tangerine searching for the briefcase and decides to hide in the luggage rack. Although Tangerine notices Ladybug, he doesn't recognize him from their previous mission and continues onward. Tangerine encounters Prince and Yuichi, seeking information about the briefcase. Prince describes Ladybug's appearance, having spotted him earlier. 
Meanwhile, Lemon receives a text from his brother with Ladybug's description just as Ladybug sits across from him. Ladybug proposes a deal, offering to return the briefcase in exchange for his life. Although tempted, Lemon is unwilling to play nice after Ladybug's previous killing, referring to Sun, while Ladybug believes he means Wolf. Lemon, still clinging to train metaphors, initiates a fight, but Ladybug manages to incapacitate him before he can use his gun. Ladybug devises a plan, filling Lemon's water bottle with sleeping powder and hiding the gun in the luggage rack. He also discovers the lifeless body of the son, whose eyes bleed like the victims at Wolf's wedding. Tangerine returns to the carriage, but Ladybug manages to take Lemon's phone before escaping. He contacts Maria to inform her about the connection between the deaths and the mysterious presence on the train. Amid the conversation, Ladybug accidentally releases a snake from a cage, which is responsible for the bleeding effects. While hiding from Tangerine and the conductor, Ladybug is momentarily exposed but confuses Tangerine by approaching another passenger, allowing him to escape. Meanwhile, Prince and Yuichi search for the briefcase and hide in the bathroom. Yuichi receives a call from the elder, which Prince puts on speaker. Yuichi expresses his desire for revenge, disappointing the elder. Before Yuichi can respond, Prince ends the call and gets rid of Yuichi's phone to eliminate any distractions. Tangerine returns to Lemon's side and wakes him up, prompting doubts about Ladybug's involvement in Sun's death. Their conversation is interrupted by a call informing them of a change in plans. Instead of heading to Kyoto, they must disembark at the next stop with Sun and the briefcase, where a group of Yakuza gangsters awaits them. Suspecting a trap, the siblings devise a plan. Tangerine gets off alone and convinces the henchmen that he sees through their ruse, while Lemon remains inside, controlling Sun's movements like a puppet. With Tangerine safely back on the train, the brothers split up to search for Ladybug, and Tangerine entrusts Lemon with his gun for added protection. In their absence, Prince checks on Sun and expresses contempt by spitting on his lifeless face. She then returns to the bathroom, where Yuichi has successfully opened the briefcase. However, Prince has a different objective in mind, planting a bomb inside it to eliminate White Death when he opens it, inspired by his history of using his adversary's weapons against them. Meanwhile, Ladybug hides in another bathroom as Maria informs him about the assassination of a renowned surgeon who fell victim to the same eye-bleeding poison during a procedure. The assassin, known as Hornet, becomes Ladybug's target, as he must find Hornet to hand them over to the siblings for his survival. Unfortunately, using Lemon's phone proves to be a mistake, as Tangerine tracks Ladybug through the phone's tracking app. As the fight between Ladybug and Tangerine momentarily subsides, Tangerine receives a critical phone call from White Death's henchmen. The message demands that Tangerine disembark at the next station with the briefcase, or face the consequences of everyone on the train being killed. Uncertain of what to do, Ladybug proposes a daring plan. Recognizing that the gangsters are unaware of Lemon's appearance, Ladybug suggests assuming Lemon's identity. They alight at the next station with a stolen random briefcase, hoping to deceive White Death's henchmen. However, their scheme takes an unexpected turn when the briefcase accidentally opens, revealing it does not contain the expected ransom money. Just in the nick of time, Ladybug and Tangerine manage to reboard the train before they are captured by White Death's henchmen. At the next stop, Ladybug tells Tangerine where the briefcase is hidden and tries to leave the train. However, Tangerine insists on keeping Ladybug as a scapegoat. In a desperate move, Ladybug kicks Tangerine off the train just before it departs again. Meanwhile, Lemon continues his search for Ladybug while drinking water. He encounters Yuichi and Prince, who try to act innocent when asked about a suspicious man with a case. Doubting Prince's response, Lemon shoots Yuichi to force them to talk. Lemon and Prince hide Yuichi's body in the bathroom. Lemon then turns his attention to Prince, but the sleeping powder takes effect, causing him to pass out. Seizing the opportunity, Prince takes Lemon's gun, shoots him, and hides him in the bathroom. 
However, Tangerine refuses to give up and chases after the train, eventually jumping onto its tail and re-entering by breaking a window. Ladybug moves to a different train carriage and finds Yuichi's phone ringing. The elder is checking on his son, but Ladybug advises him to use the tracking app and ends the call. Returning to the bar, Ladybug retrieves the rigged briefcase and examines Wolf's body for clues. Inside a mascot costume, Ladybug uncovers the Hornet, who confesses to killing the son and infiltrating the wedding as the chef. The woman who poisoned the wolf's wife and guests also poisoned the White Death's son. She attacks Ladybug with a venomous syringe, but he manages to reverse the situation and injects her instead. Despite her attempts to use an antidote, Ladybug swiftly ends her life by stabbing her in the neck. Tangerine spotted the prince on the train and she approached him, claiming that a man had kidnapped her and murdered Tangerine's uncle. She desperately tried to fabricate a story to gain sympathy and deceive Ladybug, who initially believed her. However, Ladybug suddenly recognized her as the killer known as Diesel, named by Lemon. As Lemon attempted to grab her, Ladybug intervened and attacked Tangerine. In an attempt to deceive Ladybug, the prince put on an innocent facade. However, their encounter took an unexpected turn when an elderly man approached them. Just as Ladybug tried to rise, he was bitten by a snake. Concerned, the man questioned the prince about the whereabouts of his son and inquired about his grandson's accident. To everyone's surprise, the prince admitted to all their deeds. They revealed their intention to eliminate the White Death with the help of his son. The prince claimed responsibility for killing White Death's son and grandson. However, the elderly man, unfazed by the confession, revealed that their attempt to kill his grandson had failed, as he was always there to protect his family. Ladybug joins the elder, who opens up about his past. He was once a member of Manegishi's crime family, driven by a promise to support his family. Despite warning Manegishi about the White Death, he was ignored. Returning home, he found his wife dead and their home destroyed, with only Yuichi surviving. The elder went into hiding, seeking revenge and protecting his son. Now, fate has brought them together on the train, and they decide to unite against the White Death. In the bathroom, the elder and Ladybug find Yuichi and Lemon, both unhurt. Lemon is upset by a necklace left by Prince. Lemon's desire for revenge grows, targeting Ladybug and Yuichi. The Elder steps in, stressing the need for unity against the White Death. Ladybug exits the train with the briefcase but is captured by the henchmen. A disagreement arises over who should open the briefcase and investigate its contents. On the train, Prince discovers that the White Death is her father. She resents him for favoring her younger brother and seeks to prove herself. She also holds animosity towards her younger brother for receiving their father's attention despite being deemed unworthy. Surprisingly, the White Death takes her gun but doesn't harm her, claiming she was never part of his plan. Lemon tries to understand the control room, while the White Death examines the briefcase and confirms Ladybug's theory. It's revealed that the assassins were hired by the White Death as part of his vengeful scheme related to his wife's tragic past. The White Death reveals the backstory of the sibling's mission in Bolivia, where they were ordered to eliminate his crew. He had to leave his wife behind, and the car incident was an assassination attempt on him. Unfortunately, his wife couldn't be saved due to the absence of the gang's surgeon, who was killed by Hornet. The son's involvement led to his demise, and his wife tried to help him. Lady Big's presence on the train was a case of mistaken identity, as the White Death intended to target Carver, the mercenary responsible for his wife's death. Before Ladybug can explain, the henchmen open the briefcase, causing a devastating explosion. Yuichi and the Elder engage in a fierce fight against the gangsters searching for the bodies, while Lemon manages to restart the train. Following the explosion, Ladybug, White Death, and more of his crew are thrown onto the train, joining the ongoing conflict. The Elder faces off against the White Death in perilous hand-to-hand -hand combat, nearly succumbing to defeat. 
However, Yuichi comes to his rescue by hurling a water bottle at the White Death, temporarily incapacitating him. Seizing the opportunity, the Elder swiftly dispatches the White Death with his sword. Ladybug and Lemon work together to find the brakes while being pursued by the henchmen. Lemon sacrifices himself to save Ladybug, causing the last gangster to fall off the train. Ladybug cuts wires to activate the brakes, causing the train to derail and crash in Kyoto. The Elder and Yuichi survive by holding onto a seat, while Ladybug lands safely on a mascot costume. They find the White Death alive but he is ultimately killed by Prince's rigged gun. As the trio believes they can finally depart safely, Prince emerges, intending to claim the mantle of the White Death. However, her plans are abruptly interrupted when a truck filled with tangerines runs her over. Lemon, who had safely swum out of the river and seized the opportunity, sought revenge by using the truck to exact his vengeance on Prince. After bidding farewell to Yuichi and the Elder, Ladybug witnesses the arrival of Maria in a fancy car, coming to pick him up. However, their encounter takes a turn for the worse when Ladybug's bad luck strikes, causing a falling light post to destroy Maria's car, leaving them in a state of shock. With uncertainty looming, their journey takes an unexpected turn, leaving us eagerly anticipating what lies ahead here comes a great movie, reaching its unforgettable end.